Hi, I'm Bob Krause. I'm president of the Veterans National Recovery Center, and I'm here with Zeb Pitts. Uh, Zeb, how long did uh, you serve uh, in Afghanistan? First tour was a year and a half. Second tour was one year. One year. So you had two and a half years in uh, Afghanistan uh, uh, as a uh, as a truck driver, uh, and uh, so uh, now we're we're here at the VA, and we're going to do some tests on mefloquine toxicity. Can you tell me a little bit about methylquin toxicity? Well, it's basically like a anti-malaria pill, and malaria is one of the basic drugs that is introduced into Afghanistan. It's kind of sort of like an STD, but it's not. And the malefilkin test tells you about how to see if to see if you actually got it because it can represent some symptoms of PTSD. Okay, so basically what's happening here is you took uh, mefloquine uh, every day for two and a half years, more or less? Yeah. And uh, you took the mefloquine pill every day, uh, and uh, it has uh, side effects. About 25% of the troops that had it uh, have side effects, and if you take it for a long time, the side effects get worse and can get permanent. So today we're at the VA, and we're here, why are we here at the VA, Zeb? We're here at the VA to take a molecular test. Okay, well let's uh, get on with it. Uh, this is Bob Krause again, and I'm uh, at the local Hardee's restaurant, and I'm here with uh, Zeb Pitts. And we just uh, uh, got back from a uh, rather long uh, session at the, uh, the VA. Of course, I was not allowed to go in, it's all HIPAA covered. Uh, but uh, Zeb, what did they do there? Basically, after they took my bottles and everything, they measured my weight and they sat me down, asked me a whole bunch of questions, and then afterwards, they took me into another room and asked me to talk to a PTSD specialist, which wasn't there, but she was a it was like a um, a video chat, basically like Skype or something like that. And she asked me a whole bunch of questions, mainly about. Uh, childhood stress issues, uh, what type of drugs I was taking, what type of, uh, how long did I take them, uh, how many tours I did, how many, what I experienced during the tours, and stuff like that. Okay, now, so, uh, Zeb, you did, uh, besides taking the uh, mefloquine every day for two and a half years in Afghanistan, uh, you also uh, uh, were on some uh, a lot of truck convoys. Were those what six days a week? Is that what you said? Uh, the truck convoys was mostly every day. Every single day, seven days a week, pretty much. Okay, and and uh, what kind of uh, enemy action did you see out there? Well, during our truck convoys, we would get we would get chatter over the uh, V.net, mm -hmm. and we'll go from there basically we would have the infantry people go out well, EOD go out first and clear the lanes and then we would have the infantry go ahead and then we would leave out a couple minutes later but it would always be at night okay so it's you, they were, these were all night moves yes. and then you got uh, what a lot of mortar fire uh, it was just basically uh, most of the time it was either an RPG or AK-47 okay so RPGs which is that's a pretty powerful thing right there uh, and an AK-47 on the wrong end can be pretty powerful too. Yeah. Was this pretty much a daily event that you uh, got IDFs, indirect fires? Yes. Uh, and uh, uh, as far as like uh, an explosion or something like from an R RPG, how close were you to the closest one that went off around you? The closest one that went off around me was, uh, I would say about Three to four blocks. Three to four blocks away? Yes. Okay. Okay, but it was an everyday event that you, uh, pretty much every night you were out, you received some kind of indirect fire or knew about it or something yes. like that. Okay. So, uh, and uh, now pers uh, they gave you a couple prescriptions. What, would, what were the initial diagnoses that they had on you? The initial diagnosis was mainly... <laughs> One of them was uh, social phobia, which is basically afraid to go out. Mm -hmm. so I'm kind of a hermit. And 
they prescribed me Prexitone, uh, 10 milligrams. It'll be here in about three to five days. Uh -huh. And they said they're going to, uh, as well as give me Lexapro and a Salopram for my anti-depression. Anti-depression and also, um, uh, well, the um, goes into the anxiety in there too someplace? No. No, okay, this is just for depression? Depression and social phobia. Social phobia, which is actually a form, the social phobia is a form of anxiety. Okay. Uh, so, um, so yeah, that, that, that seems like a, a, a pretty by the book uh, initial prescription and then they're, uh, I understand they're supposed to send you some more information on this uh, uh, soon in the mail so you'll get in a precise diagnosis. But, but they did identify problems that uh, did not show up when you entered the service, is that correct? Yes. Because you took a battery of uh, tests and including I believe some kind of a psychology analysis before you went into the service, is that correct? Yes. Yeah, okay. So that's kind of where we're at right now. Uh, this is uh, uh, basically stage one of uh, Zeb's analysis and uh, Zeb will find out more if it's mefloquine to toxicity or if it's post-traumatic stress disorder or uh, there's a possibility it could be traumatic brain injury uh, or it could be something else. So we know that uh, uh, they're giving some uh, palliative medicine uh, to, to Zeb uh, to keep him stable on some, uh, some quadrants, uh, but we don't know the whole picture yet. So stay tuned and uh, we'll, keep, uh, we'll keep you up to date. And uh, this is Bob Krause, president of the Veterans National Recovery Center, uh, signing out now. Have a great day.